I uh, guess what? I went down to the uh, comedy store yesterday for the for my first set since uh, my last show in New York. And I went down there. I had the best fucking time. I tried out all this new material. And I uh, actually walked into the comedy store. And, you know, they have the original room. And then they have the main room. The original room is the part of the original club when they just bought half of it. It used to be a nightclub called Ciro's. And uh, where the original room sits, I think, was the back of the main room. So, um, anyways, whatever. Come out to L.A. Just walk in. Take a look at it. So I go, what's going on in the main room? And they go, Dick Gregory. I go, what? They go, Dick Gregory. I go, Dick Gregory is on stage right now? And they were like, yeah. And I went in there, and the guy was fucking hilarious. Still funny as hell. Still edgy. Talking about topical stuff. He was talking about Paris. He was talking about all this just right up to date stuff. Um, he was fucking amazing. So that gave me a charge. So then I go into the, the, uh, the original room. They bring me up. I start doing my thing. Everything's going great. You know, I did my little wage gap gift I, uh, joke. And then I get off stage. Thanks a lot. And uh, all of a sudden this lady, she comes up to me and then she just wants to present her case. She's like, you know, well, actually, I'm in my mid-30s, and now I, I'm at an age now that when I go out with a guy, he, he wants to go Dutch. He expects me to pay for half, and then I just go, well, yeah, you should. You know? You should. I don't think it's asking too much. You're in your 30s. You've demonstrated that you're not a first-round draft pick at this point. You know, you're fucked up like me. So... I know I'm fucked up. I know you're fucked up or maybe too driven to commit to anything. So, you know, we got to keep each other at arm's length here, right? So I pay for my shit. You pay for your shit. I couldn't, like, I couldn't even listen to, like, that's, that's your big fucking complaint in life, that for the first 30 years you got free fucking food and drinks. Like, as a guy, do you know how far back into my life I got them? They, they get to live like eight-year-olds. Remember when you were a kid, you just walked around? As a kid, you had no money, you went out with your parents, you had a whole fucking day, you ate, you had drinks, you fucking, no, not booze, but, you know, got yourself a high C, whatever the hell you had, you know, went to a ball game, whatever, you never went in your pockets. The life of a kid, you know? You essentially, and not like, look, I obviously know that women don't just not pay for fucking anything, but I'm just saying that when they get courted, you know? You don't have to pay for shit, generally speaking. Right? So anyway, so she comes up to me. I just didn't want to fucking hear it. And uh, I made the mistake. I treated her like a guy, and I feel bad. I just completely, I just gave her shit. And then she was like, oh, you're being mean and everything. I'm like, it's a comedy club. We're comedians. This is what we do. And then she wanted to make her fucking point, And I just, you know, I said, all right. And I just walked away. And... Then, of course, I made the mistake of asking another comic. I go, was I just too mean there? And he's like, yeah, no, no. Comedian will never say you're too mean. They go, no, no, say, you know, seemed about right. Felt like the, uh, the right level of it. <clears throat> um, that's a pet peeve of mine. I don't like when I'm standing on stage and you could heckle me while I'm making my point. Instead, you don't. You wait till I get off stage and then you want to have some fucking, you know, Charlie Rose conversation about what the fuck you think of the joke. I don't give a shit at that point. I, you know, I would much rather that you yell out during my show. Like, hey, I'm in my 30s. I got to pay for a date. That we could have had that hilarious conversation, a little back and forth. But instead, you know, I got to get off stage. And then you come up to me like I'm being debriefed after my shift. You know what I mean? See where I went right, see where I went wrong. Like, I don't want to fucking hear that. But you're more than welcome to heckle me. I don't give a shit. I don't care about that, you know? I'm up there. It's me in the mic stand. You know, I feel safe. <laughs> <laughs> ah, who's kidding you? I was probably too much of an asshole. What do, you, what do you want from me? 